or a little bit of yoga right now. Feel free to join in. Come to wonderful sit. Sit up on something. Sit up on either a pillow or up on some books. And sit up tall. Feel the length from your hips to your head. Breathing in deep. Welcome in today. How are you feeling? Welcome to Yoga with Marcel. I'm Sean. I'm your host. I'm Marcel. I'm here for the instructions, the questions, and the support. And I'm not alone here, but I'm joined by Sean. Sean is here for entertainment, energy, and motivation. And together we're teaching every day here live. If you'd like to join in live, feel free to check in the description all the different links you need to have. Feel free to also join the Discord if you wish. Have your hands connected towards your knees. Sit up tall. Feel how your body feels today. Come into your body today. Be completely, arrive completely in this very moment. Start to move your hands forward and backward on your thighs. Listening in to your thighs, listening in to your palms. Not just feeling what's going on on your palms with your hands, but feeling what's going on with your thighs as well. Great show. You're doing amazing. Keep that going. And from there, bring your shoulders forward and upward, backward and down. <sighs> you know, there, there are so many great yoga teachers that are teaching life. One of my favorite is like Aiden. Aiden Krishna, he's, he has always like a, this smile and this kind of personal style. It's so funny to watch him and you really see like he, he's authentic in one way. And yeah. Hey Echo, how are you doing? Welcome in. Oh, you're also a streamer. Cool. How are you doing? So I'm practicing yoga every day here on Twitch Live. Feel, feel free to join in and practice with me if you wish one day or another day. Today we're going to do it very nice and easy and gentle and just a little bit of stretching. And afterwards we're going to do some YouTube chores. We're going to do some work. Welcome in dear friend. Good to get to get to know you a little bit closer. How are you doing today? Bring your shoulders forward, then upward, backward and down. Forward, upward, backward and down. Car X Drift Racing Online. Never heard that game. I'm doing great yourself. I'm doing okay. I'm doing fine. So yeah, I remember you're, we're kind of like opposites about like the horror games, right? <laughs> That's fun. I really don't like horror games. Uh, uh, if they're multiplayer, you know, I can play them, but then uh, it's like it's like rather annoying for me to play them than fun. I, I'm not like I'm not like uh, li I don't like to be scared. Uh, I think like <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I can't really explain it. But I'm just different, you know. Everybody's a little different. And that's all right. Makes the whole thing interesting. From here, release your arms. Bring your hands by your sides and pick them up by your sides. Get along from your hips to the top of the fingers. And let me introduce you a little bit. Or let me give you a little bit more of an introduction to myself. I'm Marcel. I'm teaching here every every day for 10 years that's what we're going to do here bring your arms up by your sides as we're breathing in get long 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 from your hips to the fingers get long and then breathing out release your hands down breathing out good and we're going for 10 years of every day streaming life and I'm not alone here but I'm joined by Sean Sean is here for entertainment energy and motivation he's a dragon he's a dragon uh, and release your arms by your sides down. Pick your arms up, breathing in deep. And yeah, I love teaching yoga. I'm certified and I love it. And that's why I'm teaching every day. 
Mm -hmm. Get long from your hips to the top of the fingers. So what's written above in the chat is like uh, yoga in German. Do you want to try yoga out in German? You can do that too if you don't understand that. Um, so what I'm doing as well on YouTube, I have some beginner introduction to yoga uh, uh, YouTube uh, thingies, you know, and I have them in English and in German, for example. So then you know a little bit more about what's going on. Good. And from here, bring your right hand to the right side and we're leaning to the right, leaving the left sitting bone connected with the floor. We're reaching to the right. So Echo, have you done yoga before in your life? Or is it like, yeah, that's nothing for, for me. Engage your belly and we're leaning to the right. Good. And then lean to the other side. Engage your belly. And today we're going very, very soft. So maybe, maybe you like to chime in into another lesson. But right, right now I feel like I don't want to push myself too much because yesterday we did a uh, hundred burpees or rather I did hundred burpees and I feel a little bit exhausted in my, ar in my arms at the moment because I haven't trained my arms in quite a while because I had an accident, a bike accident. And just work with your breath here, breathing in, leaning to the right. Breathing out, changing, breathing in, leaning to the other side. Ah, change around again. Where are you from, Echo? By the way, where are you from? Engage your belly as we're leaning to the side and change the other side. And right now, maybe you feel like, oh wait, what are we doing with our side body here? We're really, really creating a lot of compression there as we're kind of bending to the side, right? And we want to also bring some awareness into that right now. So yoga is a lot about awareness. Bring your right fingertips to the floor and we're getting long from your left sitting bone to the top of the left hand. Meanwhile, we're not compressing to your right, so we're not rounding to your right, but we're keeping the right side long and the left side even longer. You can lean a little bit to the right, but keeping your right side long as well. Good job. Bring your shoulder blades to the back, tuck your chin in a little, smile if you like. You're doing great. This is day 432 of consecutive yoga streams, daily yoga streams. Happy to share with whoever is around today. Bring your left fingers down and get along from your right sitting bones to the top of the right hand. Engage your belly. Keep your left side long, keep your right side long. And reach up, 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 up. And release, change around, breathing in, reaching up. Keep your right side long and keep your left side long. Feel how your left sitting bone, as you have the left hand up, is still pushing into the ground. Make sure to sit up on something, right? Sit up on some books or sit up on a sitting pillow. You're doing great. Get your belly a little maybe and change around, lost time. Reaching up, feel how your right sitting bone is connected to the floor. Good job. And it has a lot to do with awareness, with listening in to your body. As we're not rounding right now, but we're reaching up, we're growing in one way. And release. Good job. How does that feel? Let's stand up together. And as always, we're standing up slowly with a lot of awareness. We're listening in to our body as we're standing up. Good job. So, yeah, Echo, uh, we saw each other. Uh,
stream yesterday, right? And Viddle is sometimes also here. And slowly come up. Sometimes she also tunes in here. Not as much anymore, but it's all right, you know. Everybody decides on their own. Come and stand up slowly with a lot of awareness. Feel where your shoulders are right now. Maybe bring them a little bit to the back. Or if you just feel where they are and start to jump out of your knees. Start to jump out of the knees. Release your shoulders and your neck a lot, a lot. Great. Release the shoulders and the neck a lot, a lot. Just jump out of the knees. Very much an underrated uh, exercise here. It really releases a lot of tension. Good. And from there you can jump also. If you like to intensify, jump out of your heels and stomp the ground. A lot, a lot. Release your shoulders and your neck a lot. If you like to intensify more, you can jump out of your toes. Jumping out of the toes and reconnect with your toes and your heels to the floor. Release your shoulders and your neck a lot. I'm doing amazing today. Yeah, we have a lot of things to do. So let's do that. Let's do these things. Release, shake your legs, shake your arms. And from here, come into a wonderful stance here. Again, heels under your hips approximately. Just approximately. Release your arms a lot. So no muscles activated in your arms. Engage your knees, engage your thighs. And from there, returning yourself to the left and the right from our belly button out. With your belly button, turn yourself to the left and to the right. Smashing your wrist into your belly, into, onto your hips. This is called wet towel exercise. So no muscles are activated in your arms. We're moving with your belly button. Keep your knees and your thighs engaged a lot, a lot. So your hips stay in place. We're looking to the left and to the right. Great job. Smashing your wrists into your, onto your hips. Great job. And then release completely. Releasing completely without stopping and maybe feeling the impulses that are going left and right. And if you can feel them, yeah, that is where the center of your body lies. Good job. Shake your legs out, shake your arms out, shake your wrists. And from here, we're going to bring the right leg behind your left leg onto the outer edge of your foot, bend your front knee, Bring your arms up by your sides, grab on with your left hand to your right wrist and we are pushing our hips to the right and we're leaning to the left. Engage your belly. Good. How does that feel? And change around. Other side. We're going two more times. If you don't get it like the first time that we're doing it, don't worry about it. Going to do it again. Bring your left leg, put it behind your right leg and to the side. Come to the side of your foot. Bend your front leg, grab on with your right hand to your left wrist and we're leaning to the right. Engage your belly a little. You're doing amazing. Breathing in deep. Stretch comes up from your leg up, your whole side body through. Engage your belly. So we're not 
releasing the belly and kind of pushing our butt out to the front or to the back or the hips to the front or the back, but we're keeping it, everything in line. Come up again, good. We're changing around and this time we reach forward and we push our butt out. We'll see how that goes in a moment. Bring your right leg to the back, to the side, to the outer edge of your foot, to the, yeah, on the outer edge of your foot. Grab on with your left hand to your right wrist again. And we push our hips to the right and lean to the left. Good. From there, push the butt out to the back and we reach forward to your left with a straight back. So pushing the butt out to the back, reach forward with your hands. Come up again, change around, other side, other side, doing amazing. If you have any questions at any point or any wishes on where to go to, let me know. Again, right hand to your left wrist as you're shifting the hips to the left, engage your belly, then push your butt out to the back, reach forward to your right. Awesome job. And come up. Whoop, whoop. Awesome. Shake your legs out, shake your arms out. Oh. Good. And we're going to stretch a little more. So first of all, a stretch that is accessible for everybody here, because these here are beginner yoga lessons. I very much uh, create beginner yoga lessons here. It shall be accessible to everybody. So if you're kind of like more a more athletic uh, man or woman, then maybe these lessons are not quite right for you. But it's rather like beginner yoga lessons. They can also be right for you because you decide how far you go, right? You can increase the intensity, you can decrease the intensity, you can listen to your body and and uh, change the intensity, right? So that the lesson, the lesson is supporting you, which is important, right? Bring your left leg forward, right leg to the back, and bend your knee. We're hinging at the hips. Good, hinging at the hips means we are leaving the, the back straight right here, right now. And we're creating a stretch in the hamstring here. Good. Your front leg, we keep the kneecap a little bit engaged. Instead of pushing through the knee, the knee in this side, we're keeping it engaged. Good and active. Awesome. Your head is in line with the spine, so not looking up like this, but in line with the spine, looking down maybe 45 degrees and honoring wherever you are. If you're up here, that's also amazing. You're doing a great job for yourself. You will feel great after. And we're not going for too much longer. Don't worry, you're doing amazing. And then release, change around. Other side forward, other leg forward. Bend your back leg again. Same thing, the other side. Push your butt out, breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. Get long from your hips to your head. Breathe in deep into your belly, your chest. Expand the chest in all the different sides as we're doing that. You can also test if your back is still straight by bringing one hand to your back and feeling if the vertebras are pushing out or not. If the vertebras are pushing out, this means you have a rounded back. You can feel the vertebras pushing out if you're rounding your back and feeling the vertebras. Good. From there, come up one more time, in, push your butt to the back, get long from your hips to your head, feel a stretch in your hamstring, and release, come up. Shake your legs out a little, good job. Bring your feet hip width apart, not, not hip, sorry. <laughs> bring your feet a little bit apart. So, wrist width apart, bring your arms up by your sides. And we want to have our ankles below the wrists approximately. So 
just approximately measuring the distance with your hands and from there push your butt out the back keep your thighs engaged your knees engaged and slowly come down slowly come down rounding your whole back not just rounding in one certain spot but rounding your whole back you can also come up with a straight back and work a little bit from here engage your thighs engage your knees a lot push your butt out get long from your hips to your head good job everybody and then release down yeah from here we walk over to your right toes saying hello to your right toes if you can reach there meanwhile we keep your tie and your knee engaged the other side on both sides saying hello to your right toes breathing in deep to your leg and then come back into the middle and go over to the other side Saying hello to your left toes. To your left leg maybe. And come back into the middle. Good job. Bend your knees a little. Bring one hand up to your thigh. Other hand and start to step in left, right, left. Ooh, good job. From here, let's come down on the floor. Lie down on the floor. Wow. Good job. And we're picking up one leg up, leaving the left leg on the floor, for example, or just the other leg, and have the ankle rooted of the leg that is on the floor to the floor. So feel how the ankle is connected with the floor. Feel how the hips are connected to the floor. Now bring your other leg up, so bring the other leg up and grab on, on your thigh. Have your shoulders connected with the floor, breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. Good. We don't need to pull in right now too much, but rather just connect to how it feels. And then we point the toes up, point the foot up and the toes up. Then draw the toes down and draw the foot down. Toes up, foot up. Toes down, foot down. Toes up, foot up. Toes down, foot down. How does that feel? Don't push yourself too much here, but rather feel like, oh, that feels like a stretch maybe. Toes down, foot down. These are two movements, toes up, foot up. Good job, toes down, foot down. Toes up, foot up. And from here, pull in a little bit more on your thigh. Feel maybe a stretch, feel how your hips are connected to the floor, the ankle is connected to the floor, breathing in deep. Have your shoulders connected to the floor. Wonderful, you're doing great. Have your ankle connected to the floor of your other leg. You're not moving the toes anymore, the, the foot. Rather just leaving it where it is, where it wants to be. And from there, we engage your leg that is up here. Engage your leg a lot, a lot. With all your muscles that you have, release your arms and slowly let your leg down. Slowly let your leg down to the floor. Good job. And then pick up your other leg. Pick up your left leg. Whew. Grab on, on your thigh, have your shoulders connected to the floor, have your heel connected to the floor, uh, your ankle connected to the floor, hips connected to the floor. And same thing on the other side. Point your toes up, toes down, foot down. Toes up, foot 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 up, toes down, foot down. And a step feel.
from there, you can pull in a little bit more. Your shoulders connected to the floor, have your ankle connected to the floor. Breathing in deep. Good job. Engage your whole leg here, all the muscles in your leg. Engage them. Release your arms by your sides and then slowly release your leg down to the floor. Feel how the muscles are working. A lot of muscles working there. Good. Awesome. Shake your wrists, sh shake your legs a little bit left and right here. Good. Your hips a little bit left and right. And from here, before we come into Shavasana, so the final relaxation pose, bring your hands over your head and we stretch out from your right side, so right leg long, right arm long, stretching out, and then left leg long, left arm long, stretching out a little and change around again. Right leg long, right arm long, left leg long, left arm long, change around. Wonderful. And just get long in the right side, right leg long, right arm long, and then change around again. And release. Bring your arms by your sides, palms are pointing forward, upward. Forward, there's no forward. Palms are pointing upward, feet are facing away from each other. Bring the chin a little bit to your chest. Close your eyes and just be in Shavasana. Shavasana is here to really let your whole body come back to a relaxed state, let's say relaxed state, to tell our body that physical practice is now over. Just be for a minute, and we'll get you back after a minute. Nothing to do here, just be. Have your eyes closed. Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers. Start to move your toes. 
Coming back to your body. Whenever you're ready, draw your knees in towards your belly. And then shift yourself to either the left or the right side, coming to lie down on your side body. In this side body position, release all the tension. Make it feel comfortable for yourself. So coming into a side body position, make it feel comfortable for yourself. Release all the tension in your tongue and first of all softening the skin of the face. Release all the tension in your tongue, in your jaw, in your neck, in your shoulders, in the arms, in the elbows, in the wrists, in the fingers, in the chest, in the belly, in your hips, in your whole spine, in your whole back. In your legs, in your knees, in your ankles, in your heels, in your toes, releasing all the tension in your body. Breathing in deep, your belly into your chest, nurturing your whole body. As you're breathing out, feel how the gravity of the earth is carrying you. With your next breath in, lift yourself up into a final sitting position. Whenever you arrive in this final sitting position, bring your hands in front of your heart together. Honoring your yoga practice, bow your head in front of your heart together. Namaste. If you're heading out, I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are in the world. Release your arms and open your eyes. Welcome back. Welcome back. I honor deeply that you take care of your body. Right now, dear friends, if you'd like to connect more, more with me, feel free to check out the YouTube, my YouTube channels. I've got uh, dedicated YouTube videos, so uh, you, yoga videos made for YouTube. I've got also like all these live streams are going up to YouTube. So if you like to review them, if you like to check out the first very live stream that I did, uh, yoga, you can do that on YouTube. Uh, I don't recommend that, <laughs> but maybe it's interesting for you to see where everything began. <laughs> so dear friends, um, we're now changing up the stream. Usually we are going for mantra singing, uh, breathing practice and meditation, but today we're kind of changing it up a little and we're going to do some chores. On, on the live stream. So if you like to check that out on a little bit more behind the scenes, feel free to look into that right now and chat with me if you have any 